Lewis Hamilton and Alex Albon narrowly avoid scary Saudi GP crash, that was a close one. Lewis Hamilton and Alex Albon narrowly avoided a scary crash during Friday's second practice session ahead of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Albon only returned to F1 at the start of the season after being dropped by Red Bull at the end of 2020. Mercedes Hamilton struggled during the first practice session on Friday and could only clock the ninth fastest time. Albon, who is racing for Williams this year, fared even worse in P1 and was 17th fastest. The duo were obviously desperate to improve their times during P2 and push their cars to the limit ahead of Saturday's qualifying session. And during P2, Albon looked to slightly misjudge one of the corners and approached it too fast as he veered over the curb. The 26-year-old fortunately managed to steer his car away from Hamilton, who was on a slower lap just in front of him on the track. The Brit was able to whiz clear to avoid what would have been a calamitous collision. And the Sky Sports F1 commentary team were in agreement that any contact would have been disastrous. That was a close one, admitted Anthony Davidson moments after witnessing the near miss. What a good job that was at a part of the track where there was a bit of visibility, replied David Croft. And Paul E. Resto exclaimed, that could have taken two cars out for the rest of this session. The earlier practice session was rocked on Friday following a missile attack on an oil depot around 12 miles from the Jeddah circuit. The attack caused a huge blaze as thick clouds of black smoke filled the air in the distance. Yemen's Houthi rebels have apparently taken responsibility for the attack, which led F1 chief Stefano Domenicali to hold a meeting with team bosses and drivers between the two practice sessions. The second practice session was delayed by 15 minutes but was eventually given the green light as race organizers Saudi Motorsport Company confirmed that Sunday's Grand Prix would still go ahead. We are aware of the attack on the Aramco distribution station in Jeddah earlier this afternoon and remain in direct contact with the Saudi security authorities, as well as F1 and the fear to ensure all necessary security and safety measures continue to be implemented to guarantee the safety of all visitors to the Formula 1 STC Saudi Arabian Grand Prix as well as all drivers, teams and stakeholders, they said in a statement. The race weekend schedule will continue as planned. The safety and security of all our guests continues to be our main priority and we look forward to welcoming fans for a weekend of premium racing and entertainment.